Okay, so three months ago in December when Maddie started, her shoulder was lit up, it was inflamed. She, the doctor pulled her off of hitting. Um, and a lot of it oftentimes is what's going on with the shoulder blade, right? Or what we call the scapula. This is a model of what the right shoulder blade looks like. When she was three months ago, she couldn't raise her right arm and shoulder, right hand and above her shoulder. Her shoulder blade was like a lot of young athletes. And so here's what the shoulder blade can do. I'll show you with the model and I'm gonna show you with her shoulder blade itself. It can tilt up like this, it can tilt inside like this, and it can rotate up. Those are all normal movements of the shoulder blade. With a lot of young athletes, overhand throwing or overhand hitting athletes, volleyball athlete in this case, an outside hitter, what will happen is in space, the shoulder blade will rotate, be rotated inwardly or internally, and it'll tilt up sometimes. And you'll see this edge of the scapula actually sticking out. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put her shoulder in a position where you can see the shoulder blade. Three months ago, I'm gonna really tilt her shoulder. Her shoulder actually, because of the work she's been doing strength-wise, her shoulder blade won't even get into that bad position. But for young athletes, I'm gonna to try to tilt it out. That's inside the shoulder blade there where my fingers are sitting. And this thing was rotated in internally and it was rotated up and so it was really tipped out. What we've been working on the last three months strength-wise are the muscles underneath the shoulder blade that pull it down against the rib cage back here and what we've been working on is it needs to stay there and move there as her arm comes back and her arm goes up into the hitting position, the shoulder blade should start to go down and tuck down against the rib cage. And it does that because she's been doing the strength conditioning work to do that. When we do the activation with the bands, I'm gonna show you what's happening with her shoulder blade. And right now it's really good. So on this first pull exercise, she'll start with the arm out in front She's gonna pull the butt arm down, and as she's doing that, what we're really doing is making sure that this shoulder blade is actually tucking down against the rib cage, and especially as she goes up into external rotation of the shoulder, this shoulder blade is now laying flat down there. Three months ago, it wasn't. It was still tipped up and rotated like that, so you could really see it sticking out. Right now, basically, if I try to show you a little bit below the shoulder blade, this thing is tucked down in there. If you're working with a young athlete, and this is one of the things we want, uh, a coach that has the permission of the athlete um, or of the, and the parent, and obviously the parent is sitting here to my left, otherwise I'm not doing this, but I want her to feel when I'm first starting to work with an athlete what this shoulder blade has to do. So go ahead and go start from your starting motion. Right now the shoulder blade, and stay right there for a second, Right now, the shoulder blade has moved forward, and that's what it naturally normally should do, and it's stretching all these muscles back here. As she pulls it back, I'm gonna put my hand on her shoulder blade, and this is what we did a few months ago, to give her the feel for how to pull it back and tuck it down flat against the rib cage there. Sorry, I'm pushing her over. <laughs> but it takes for a young athlete because the shoulder blade's back here. They don't know where it's at in space. They don't know how to fire all these muscles, so you have to actually kind of put your hand on the shoulder blade and cue them that that's where we want this thing to go as she pulls back and then she takes the arm up into external rotation we still want that thing held there and then as she goes through her throwing motion she'll turn her chest go into the throwing motion right at about contact point about right there now we tell her let the shoulder blade go it needs to rotate inwardly it needs to rotate up that's the normal motion okay go ahead and wrap that We're just gonna do our 10 slow reps. And once again, with a young athlete, as a coach, with the athlete and the parent's permission, I may have to come in here and push down on the shoulder blade to say, I want that thing down there. It's there because she's been doing the work for three months, strength conditioning wise, and then on the court, we're still focused on that shoulder blade staying, the, the term we use is connected. It's staying connected to the rib cage as she goes through that motion.